There's a few issues with the high sidekick and we're going to direct one of them. When you throw a sidekick, throw a sidekick, now, you can't throw it any higher. Suppose that's the case. You bring the body down and the leg comes up. The lower you bring the body, the higher the leg comes up. That is not the issue we're going to address today. If that's the case with you, you so kick, can't kick any higher, but if you drop your trunk, the leg comes up. That's not the issue. The issue is, if you drop your trunk, and the leg still does not come up any higher. So you saw a side kick, let's say your waist level, you drop the body, and you cannot move the leg higher. Okay? If that's the case, most likely the problem is strength and flexibility of the supporting leg. Okay. A couple of exercises needs to be done before we get into the main exercise. So with straight leg and straight back, you're going to lean forward as far as you can. Doesn't have to be all the way down, come up. If you can go a little bit lower, that's great. If you can't, go as low as you can. Now, keep in mind, this is not the actual technique, this is just a preparatory technique. The other side, same thing. As much as you can down, and up. Together with this movement is a warrior three position. Very important for balance on one leg and at the same time the strength and flexibility of the back of the leg. Okay? This is the warrior three position. Now, once mastering these two techniques, you're going to go into techniques that actually does help with a sidekick in terms of its supporting leg. Now, we do not throw a sidekick like this, of course. Sidekick is thrown when the body is turned. So the position we need to work on is balanced position like so. This also strengthens the hip and the midsection on that side. And to the other side, very slowly, getting into this position, maintaining it. Keep your hand up if you like. Once that happens and you master the warrior three, single leg deadlift, and the position I just showed you, okay, now we have to decide whether it's the strength or the flexibility that is the problem in the supporting leg, or both. Okay. So we're going to use the wall. And take a leg, bring it up. If you feel like you can bring the leg up here, then the flexibility is not the problem, because obviously you can bring the leg high. Okay. If you cannot bring the leg that high, and you do this, and you already feel it here, flexibility is the problem. Okay. Now, the strength is another thing. Once you bring the leg up, try to lift that leg. If you can lift the leg close for a few seconds and comfortable enough in the back of the supporting leg, strength is okay. Now, now that we figured those two out, the exercise looks like this. It will develop both strength and flexibility. And put one foot on the wall in the psychic position. It doesn't have to be just a heel touching. It could be the whole foot at this point. At your hip level. Or if you can't bring it to your hip level, some people may not be able to, you would put it on a small stool at whatever height you can hold it up to. Okay? From here, we're going to lower ourselves down, stretching the hamstring, and coming up, working that hamstring from full stretch. Okay. So when we come down, we're stretching the hamstring. When we are coming up, we're strengthening the hamstring, but in the range of motion that's required to throw high side kick. 
and do the same thing on the other side. Okay? Put the foot on the wall, a little bit further, let's say at your hip level. Your hands can be here, but they don't have to be. And you come down as much as you can into the stretch and then coming up strengthening in the bottom leg. Okay. To get a little bit stronger, a little bit more flexible, obviously the foot is going to travel high, high and high and high. Okay. So let's say you got a little bit stronger, you can bring it maybe this height. Same thing. And out. And that will take care of the supporting leg. The other issue, as I told you before, is that you throw a kick and your body falls down, yet you can kick higher, that's a different issue. That has to do with the trunk and the muscles of the kicking leg, not with the non-kicking leg. Okay? Um, now, after you have done this a few times, suppose you find out that flexibility is a very important issue for you, then you can actually do a stretch from there. Okay, so you would go up and down a few times and then you would just hold the stretch. And come back up. Okay. And that would work back of the leg in terms of stretching it. The last thing I want to show is for the people that have no problems with dynamic stretch, meaning that they can swing the leg really high, but when they have to kick high, they're the problem. Okay. That could be the case too sometimes. So what we would do, we would bring the leg as high as possible, okay. and that would be the stretching part. And then we're going to let go of the ground and try to maintain the trunk in some kind of a position not touching the ground. That's going to put a lot of pressure on the back of the leg, but it's also going to strengthen the back of the leg for that high side kick. Okay? So we'll place the hands on the floor, bring the leg high, come up to the wall as high as possible, okay? let go of the floor and try to maintain this position. Okay? You can come up a little bit if you like. Try to maintain this position, but the point is you're going to feel it in the back of the leg. And that's strengthening the supporting leg when you're going to throw that side kick. Good. <laughs> 